today, this review that I'm about to give you is really, I'm not going to tell you anything, not one thing that all of you don't already know. What I'm going to do is take you through a tour of what life is like if you were to be with me at the Men's Health Center at the University of Washington, where we just see a high volume of men presenting at all stages uh, of all different etiologies of erectile dysfunction. And much like Dr. Terlicki did a few days ago um, in providing a guide for how he manages genital pain syndromes, uh, this is just to help you see, you know, how do we, how do we navigate these men through this? Um, I, it turns out I don't only see 66-year-old men with hypogonadism. I also see 56-year-old men who have had their prostates removed. Uh, and so I'm going to ask you to just read through this case and these scenarios and then keep in your mind sort of what your approach may be. And I'm going to give you a minute to do that. Okay. So we'll come back to him at the end. <clears throat> And my objective today really is um, to give you a stepwise approach. Um, and I really think that uh, this is more a tour of what the experience that I want my patients to have when they come into the office, which is I need to give them information so that they can get on board with me about what we're going to do. And I think that's really helpful to share with them what the problem is, educate them, let them understand more about the biology of their disease. And by doing so, you're going to help them embrace the various solutions that you have for them. Um, I want to point out that men in general across age categories don't, you know, their community doesn't allow them to share their erectile dysfunction problems, despite us knowing how prevalent it is. And so I think if we can remove some of the stigma of this disease, sort of normalize it 